Hi guys, uh, thanks a lot for uh, being part of the Canine Census Trainers Group. And um, you are getting me in full farm gear out doing chores. And I just wanted to give you an idea of how I use behavior technology and um, some of our random training concepts in my everyday life. So right behind me, you see our yearling bulls who are currently having their daily treats. In this specific location, every single day for at least the last month, and they will continue to get fed in that exact same location probably for the next four or five months until we either decide to steer them and put them out to pasture or um, we move them, move them to the bull, big bull lot. It's a little chilly, my lips are numb, my nose is numb. But when I came to feed them today, which is down our quarter mile of drive, they were all standing over there in the neighbor's yard, right? Not very exciting for me since I'm out here with my two older dogs by myself. So I fed them in this spot. Every single one of these bulls who are seven months old were standing over there, ran along the fence, across the driveway, through the open gate, which by the way, I think they have learned to undo with their tongues and ran on that side of the fence to where they are always used to being fed. This is actually called location bias. And so the cat, the bulls, the baby bulls, are very used to being fed in this particular location. So therefore they think that that is the only place that they can get fed corn. This is how I use this behavioral technology concept for my benefit with dealing with our cows. Now, right over there, you can't see them, is our set of bulls who also have the same location bias for their food. They could be all the way down at the other end of the drive. Remember, that's a quarter of a mile down there to those big trees, way down there. And I can stand down here with my mule, who they think is a huge cue because I'm the treat lady that rides in the mule, and yell, hear bulls, and they will all come running and stand in front of their concrete bunk to get fed. So this is something to think about when you're doing dog training and your dog with boxes and other things and your dog always is going back to the same box to do their train final response or doing any alerts or if you've trained in the same location a lot and the dog you always tend to hide things in the same spot the dog goes back to that spot and just throws their train final response it's because they have a location bias to that particular spot so thanks for watching um all my farm people really love the kit the angry birds hat so welcome to, to it being 30 degrees in iowa so i hope everybody has a great day and we'll talk to you soon